Here we are with Eugenie Spiritol. Eugenie, uh, where did you come up with this concept of using, is this onyx, did you say? This, this one is limestone. Limestone. Yes, this is uh, limestone, and I, I sometimes will find a shell on the beach or a rock on the beach, or I'll find a photograph that I like, and then I'll put them up on a wall outside where I carve. And so I might have 15 photographs or little tchotchkes, and they'll all inspire me. But mainly it's the stone. The stone talks. Do you use uh, diamond cutters and these really super hardened uh, materials to, to sculpt with? I was trained by uh, Philip Pavia, who was in the family of, uh, or in the elk of Willem de Kooning and Franz Klein. And um, so he trained me in hammer and uh, chisels. And I was, then I, I moved from New York City back to Los Angeles and started with uh, power tools. So yes, I do as many power tools as I can. Being female, I want to make use of the power tools. And, and uh, wouldn't it be fun to have like a, sort of a spiritual chisel that you could deal with your thoughts with? <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> and, and my words to come out. <laughs> Definitely. So um, what's the eco message here? Well, my, my eco message is I try and leave a small footprint, and I'm a minimalist, so I try and leave as much stone on as possible, and of course I'm recycling stone just to leave beauty, to make the world a more beautiful place. When I am no longer here, my stones will be. So you're already focusing on when you're not going to be here instead of just being here now. Well, I'm, I'm working on being present. I'm just Definitely kidding. working on being present. <laughs> so this one is uh, soapstone, and it's about 150 pounds. And uh, the marble base that it's on is a recycled bank vault. And uh, anyway, it's it's. I tried to make the fish like it was still swimming in water, so you can see a wiggle. And soapstone is is soft, softer than alabaster and it's difficult in a way of it being so soft that you could take too much. You have to have a, a, the right touch. So, but. And so from this being from the bank vault, is there a strong vibration of wealth radiating <laughs> out from this piece? <laughs> well, I think so, and, and someone gave it to me, so I think it's, it's good luck in several, several respects.